Hey, what's going on there folks? It is Earthmaster, August 28th, 2018. Got a lot of eights in that number right there in those numbers. 9, 10 p.m. here on the west coast and of course we've got another uh, good sized earthquake coming in today just now. Showing up rather nicely on the Fiji station, the Fiji seismograph station over here on the left side of the screen. Also being picked up now on other stations uh, around the globe. Here's the Fiji Islands one and also uh, Japan station showing up uh, with this magnitude as well, which is coming from a 7.0 earthquake. But once again, some large scale activity occurring on the Pacific plate. And uh, it's, I thought it was gonna die down, but I tell you what, this thing is shaking and rattling and rolling for quite some time. Also some earthquake activity in Southern California. But I do wanna jump over here to the 7.0 and take a look at it real quick. It's at a depth of about 10 kilometers below the surface there. Real quick of the tsunami check on this thing, since it is so shallow and it's a large earthquake. Let's take a look here. Click to read the latest tsunami message. Uh, so once again, uh, they're registering it at a 7.1 magnitude uh, based on all available data. A destructive Pacific wide tsunami is not expected. Uh, there's no tsunami threat to Hawaii, so even though it's a good sized earthquake, uh, luckily um, no tsunami with this earthquake here. Uh, 7.0 that occurred about 10 kilometers below the surface. Here's the uh, interactive map of where this occurred at along the south new, uh, what is this? New new hybrids French? New hybrids French? Trench. <laughs> French trench. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of activity down here, folks. We've seen a lot of activity in Fiji following that 8.2 and uh, uh, quite some time ago, and we've, all, we've also seen it prior to that 8.2. So it's just a continued unrest here on the Pacific Plate, uh, which is, of course, the Ring of Fire, right? Very active, large plate here on planet Earth that uh, goes through these series and stages of... Uh, well, decreased activity and as of right now increased activity like we've been seeing over the past couple weeks here we've seen numerous large earthquakes uh, many many sixes and uh, the 8.2 and sevens and you know the list goes on and on so it shall continue covering California real quick here a little bit of activity down along the well close to the San Andreas fault system over here um, this is kind of northwest of the Pomona area. We've got Los Angeles over here to the west, Santa Monica, uh, San Fernando Valley, all this area up here uh, experienced a 4.4 shaker. Now, while that's not a big earthquake, it is, uh, well, it's definitely gonna be felt down there. That's for sure. Depth at about 3.8 miles. Um, anywhere, like, I, like I've always mentioned, folks, anytime we see any kind of activity down there in Southern California, it's always good uh, to be on guard for possibly larger follow-up earthquakes. I mean, this may just be, you know, they say little ones release pressure. Well, little ones can cause big ones too. I mean, it just it's, it's a chain effect that could happen when you're dealing with a very sensitive fault system down there. And of course, fault systems that are locked up up here over towards the eastern area along the San Andreas uh, fault section there, the southern section to be exact. Light to moderate shaking reported right around the epicenter and also picked up around the area as well. Uh, of course this is just from a 4.4. If this was an 8.4 these guys probably wouldn't be able to report at all just because of all the damage uh, and, and the uh, the outcome of that uh, which which could happen. I think they said it was a maybe a 7.9 or an 8.2 is a maximum that could happen down here along the southern section of the San Andreas fault system so um, you know it's 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 uh it's getting interesting that's all I'm gonna say let's go one magnitude here I want to check the exact fault system where this occurred at uh, real quick here on the California uh, map let's zoom in here real quick here like I said, I was just going to do an update video at about 9 o'clock and then I seen that big one coming in. So I wanted to wait for it to uh, load up and figure out where it was at before we did the update. So we're starting, to, starting the update video just a little bit late. Uh, big red line over here, very indicative of that plate boundary there, North American plate and the uh, Pacific plate over here, right? 
it's a uh, it's a very active system and in this area here where people decide to build millions of homes and live well um, they're in a very high prone earthquake area right everyone knows Southern California long overdue for the big earthquake uh, anyway not now but you never know it could happen while I'm talking 4.4 near Laverne California of course there's not gonna be any tsunami with that but it's there um, and a couple smaller earthquakes following that 4.4, 3.4, 2.4, and it looks like a couple ones and whatnot. But either way, folks, um, with this being off of the San Andreas Fault System here by about 10, 15 miles or so, I just got the update on the uh, 7.1 there on my phone, but I already knew that, right? Um, so anyway, with, with this activity occurring somewhat close down here, uh, de depending on how the uh, this earthquake occurred, slip strike, I believe. Um, let me see if there's a fault system down here real quick. Um, not for sure what's going on there. Are we still connected on the internet? Double check. Yes, we are. Strange, very strange. Um, let me refresh that page and see what's going on. Huh. Hopefully those folks down there didn't get overloaded. Looks like oh there we go. Okay, anyway, with um yeah, with this activity occurring pretty close here within the San Andreas fault system here, it's always a good idea to be uh on guard for like say future uh, earthquakes. Uh, you know, definitely over the next twenty four hours as we're seeing kind of an uptick in Southern California to begin with. Uh, we did see a little bit of earthquake activity here further to the south uh, yesterday up here around these mountain ranges. Of course, California's always having earthquakes. Um, and it, I guess it's kind of good to have smaller ones, but like I say, any kind of movement, any kind of adjustment down there ultimately puts pressure and, and possibly releases pressure too on certain plates. So uh, just something to watch. You know, if you're down Southern California, just heads up, be on guard. Um, of course, always, always have an earthquake plan no matter what, uh, no matter what time of day, no matter what time of year. It's always good to be prepared in that uh, in that uh, region there. There's a lot of earthquake activity down there. You can see it uh, scattered, sporadic activity on those spiderweb fragile fault systems down there. Also a little earthquake up here towards the north, part of the uh, central coast there in California, uh, south of King City region there, 3.2. Of course, you got the San Andreas Fault System running right through here uh, and up through Hollister. But uh, anyway, folks, just like I say, please be prepared uh, and, and just, just a heads up. Did have some more earthquake activity uh, prior to this large 7.1, 6.4 over here in the new called. Uh, let's see, I believe that's a new called. Der called. Oh, that's a Mari Mariana Islands earthquake there. That's right. There's just been so many that I uh, kind of got lost in them all. There's just way too many. 6.4 occurring earlier today at 59 kilometers below surface there. No tsunami uh, with that earthquake. And also there was another one here. Where did it go? Maybe it was at 5.7 there. We've just seen a large influx, influx of uh, earthquakes down here in this region. 5.7 happened a little bit earlier today near Fiji. 10 kilometers below the surface still some deep movement going on this this red pinkish color ring that that earthquake right there earlier today way earlier today but still we're seeing uh, definitely some some deeper movement and of course Southern California shown activity some earthquake activity up there in uh, looks like uh, where is that northern Oklahoma southern Kansas region as well with a 3.4 and a 2.7 some activity going on in Chile region with a deeper stacking type of earthquake here showing some movement um, but other than that you know it's uh it's continuing to be active it's minor moderate well minor uh, got a couple fours in there as well over towards the Mediterranean region and uh, headed back into this part of the world right here this 4.6 looks like it's the biggest one that I see in that mixture uh, maybe was was there a five? Yeah, it looks like there was a five over there too. Okay, right around the Iran region uh, area as well. So some activity occurring worldwide, and um, you know, 
know, that's what Mother Nature does, right? She shifts and she's kind of like your wife, right? In the middle of the night, right? She's, you're trying to sleep and she's moving around, shifting around whenever. I guess that's not really a good comparison, but <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um, so anyway, 6.4, 4.9 up here just south of Japan. Uh, you know, the activity continues, folks. Uh, good to be on guard. Okay, the 7.1 is definitely going to be ringing the earth for a little while with the P waves that are traveling. Uh, oh, hit Southern California, uh, Japan, or uh, a little bit sooner. Uh, Mammoth, California, and of course it'll reach other stations there off in the distance there. Lake Yellowstone, Wyoming, picking up that earthquake activity as well. So, in the meantime, folks, hope everyone has a great night. Please play it safe out there, and if you get a chance, swing on by the live stream. We are live streaming right now 24 7 earthquake data and uh, volcanic data when necessary right now yellowstone shown there in the background with old faithful kind of smoke in there in the dark and uh, i think i see some stars up there as well play safe folks and we'll chat at you a little bit later peace